Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got a review for Paint the Town Red VR, specifically the PSVR 2 version. It's wacky, it's daft and it's brutal, but is it fun? While I have a captive audience, consider this our sponsored message. We've opened our website pureplaytv.com. Check it out. Self promo over, let's get on with it. Paint the Town Red VR is an adaptation of the original, non-VR game that released a few years back. It takes the voxel violence and wraps it in a brutal, chaotic and incredibly fun brawler that'll keep you busy for hours. There are several game modes in Paint the Town Red VR and each has its worth. Personally, I got my biggest kicks out of playing through the scenarios. In this mode, there are a set number of locations to play in. You pick your map, start the game and your job is to kill the set number of enemies and then head to the exit. How you go about doing that is where the fun lies. Just about everything in a given level can be used as a deadly weapon. Pool cues, whiskey bottles, stools, microphones, a sweeping brush, you get the picture. If you can hold it, you can bury it into some poor bugger's skull. There's something about seeing a character's blocky head chip away with every strike. It's even better when you use firearms. Shotgun plus headshot equals devilishly naughty fun. I have to say though, I did wonder after my first few minutes of playing whether I was enjoying the over-the-top violence a little bit too much. And then I went into the disco level, stood in the middle of the dance floor and spun on the spot, unleashing hundreds of bullets at zombies. Ah yes, this game has zombies, but only if you want them. Also, yes, I questioned myself again after that little act of delinquency. Paint the Town Red VR's scenario mode also lets you tweak the game with modifiers, and there are more than a few to choose from. Activate them all for curious carnage, or just pick a few of your favourites. Don't want any weapons? Turn them off and see if you can go the distance Rocky Balboa style. Want to live out a zombie bar brawl? Turn on zombies mode and have at them. The amount of modifiers is impressive as it is overwhelming, but it gives way to potentially thousands of different playstyles and a lot of replayability. But maybe you want something more than just mindless violence. You want violence with reason. In that case, beneath, the roguelike mode is where you'll find a bit more meat on those blocky bones. Instead of the all-out brawls of scenarios, Beneath is a roguelike dungeon-crawling adventure where you will, of course, die plenty, but you'll gather better gear and skills with each run and eventually overcome the brutal bosses. It's fun enough, and if it was a little bit more fleshed out, it could easily be its own standalone thing. If you really want to get creative with your bloodlust, then there's the sandbox, where you can experiment with all the different ways the game has to beat a blockheaded person to death. It's actually quite a neat little sandbox mode. You can spawn every enemy type and have at them with whatever weapon you want. You can also spawn crowds of enemies and have them fight off against each other in a pit arena with a big glass roof so you can observe the mayhem from above. And if you really want to test your metal, you can take on the challenges in the arena mode, which also houses the game's endless mode. Gameplay does not vary wildly from the scenarios mode, but there's some good fun to be had seeing how long you can survive and try to beat your best times and climb the leaderboards. While the game plays really well and it's far more intuitive to control than its non-VR origins, it's not without sin. For one, there is a lack of haptic feedback. You'd think in such a hands-on game you'd get a bit of rumble here and there, but it's absent and a missed opportunity to add to the all-important immersion. On the flip side, it does look really clean and you won't miss any of the gory details thanks to the crisp presentation and smooth performance. Paint the Town Red VR is a good game, but it's a little shallow. Outside of battering enemies to a bloody pile of bricks, there's not much else to it. Even the Beneath Adventure Mode is fairly simplistic, but if you go in knowing that it's best played as a stress reliever, a game you can jump into for 20 minutes and have a good time without having to invest too much brain power, it's fun for what it is, and a nice extension of its original release. And that is the end of this review. Thank you for watching, as always, it is appreciated. If you did enjoy this video and found it useful in some way, do us a solid and give this video a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out the website, pureplaytv.com. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, cheers my dears.